Today I'm going to show you how to make accurate current measurements on a power rail using a shunt and two Tektronix power rail probes. After selecting a shunt resistor with an appropriate value and power rating, make sure you characterize its exact resistance using a 4-wire DMM, such as a Keithley 6500. For the most accurate results, make sure all your equipment is completely warmed up and you've recently run a signal path compensation on your scope. The first step to making the measurement is to correct for any offset error between the channels. You do this by connecting both probes to the same test point. I accomplished this with a SMAT adapter. And now I'm going to connect these probes to the test point. Adjust the offset and vertical scale so the waveforms are centered and not clipping. Now we're going to correct for any difference between the channels by adding a math. Make the math channel as the difference between the two waveforms divided by the resistance of the shunt. I already calculated the difference was 56 milliamps, so I added that in here. Now we're ready to make the current measurement. Connect each power up probe to either side of the shunt so that we can see the current in the math waveform. Here's some bursty memory transactions we can see around 200 milliamps. This kind of measurement is only possible with our ultra-low noise MSO6 and the power rail probe. For more information, contact your local Tektronix representative or go to tech.com 